What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Carter here and welcome to an advanced hero positioning guide. In videos like this one, I'll be covering the best placements for some Metra and Torbjorn turrets, and some other hero positioning as well as some very sneaky flanks. So without further ado, let's begin with the Temple of Anubis. Here are the best places for Torbjorn's turret. All of these locations have a turret over top of a health pack. The interesting tip is that his turret will actually slurp up a health kit when it takes damage, so it damages an enemy looking for healing as well as denying them. You can spend less time repairing a turret because of self-repair, and it alerts you to flankers in some positions. Next, we have a very short guide for an important Widow positioning. First, the position near the second point that works for attack and defend. It can keep you hidden, and on defend, your poison can alert you to flankers. The next position is just one to get one or two easy kills at the beginning, so get your best Widow or Hanzo on the team for early elims. This is probably one of the sneakiest flanks I have learned of. I just found this out a couple days ago. So Farah, Genji, Hanzo, Diva, Reaper, and maybe a Junkrat can get through the windows on the left side on attack. Farah specifically can fly through the first window, drop down for health if she's damaged, and rocket jump up to the back to get behind the enemy team and help the rest of her team push to the choke. This is really important, and low tier players won't be looking for a Farah in their back lines. This last part is just a guide for Symmetra turrets. Some of these locations are near health packs, hoping to finish off a low health Genji or something. Best case scenario, you get a couple free kills. Worst case, the turrets just get destroyed and the enemy gets healed from the damage anyways. A lot of these locations can detect flankers, so they're good to have anyways. Just don't forget to use your voice comm for when they are alerted or you'll be the only person who knows about it. Well, that was my guide to advanced character placements for the Temple of Anubis. I know that this guide was very short and might not have had what you expected, but this is a guide for the placement of characters, not team comps, or where to hold at chokes. Those things are for another day. With that, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.